This is Fireball Sonic Blade 1 with my unnamed sibling I am calling Christian 2.0. Today we will review Epic Mickey. Now, I like to play this game and I played it multiple times. Yeah, she not kidding. She plays it so often and likes it so much that she talks about it all the time. Honestly, it's not my favorite game. The object of the game is to defeat the bot and bot army while earning Oswald's trust, aka Mickey's long lost brother. Your weapon is a magic paintbrush. Well, I know what you're thinking. Why a paintbrush? Well, Disney doesn't exactly have a reputation for using weapons that everybody thinks of, like swords, bongs, jewel bongs, that kind of stuff. No, take Kingdom Hearts for example. What's a keyblade? Yeah, also in their hand keys for this book, they also they used pens and pencils for weapons. But it now, how about those graphics? I bet Mickey has some of the the best, um, if not the best, uh, graphics ever. Well, that can be a downfall instead of an upside, because in places like Easy Bog or uh, this one pirate place. There can be so many shadows in one room that you can't see a thing. It can get really annoying. Sometimes I just found myself, where am I? And I eventually did kill myself. And I got so mad that I threw my nunchuck on the ground. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is the challenge there. It is hard to get the island separate from the center pool and easy bog. You can see the creators and the artists put a lot of time, thought, and effort into the tiniest detail. Would it be awesome to see this game in 3D? Well, there was probably a possibility, and they probably kicked it around maybe a few times of porting this over to the 3DS, or possibly making it when it launched for the 3DS. But that would probably make the game a little shorter, because the 3DS only has so much memory. And it can only handle so much graphics. I'm not saying that the Wii can handle the best graphics, but hey, they pretty much maxed out that with the graphics for Epic Mickey. Okay, but you have to give them props on how they made the thinner and paint out of the brush. It looks real, so you can see the uh, paint thinner out of the brush at work. Good point. They did put a lot of effort into the game overall, and they did have a bunch of practice with Kingdom Hearts. I know I'm constantly talking about Kingdom Hearts, but this will not last long. Now, here's me ranting about one subject that I really wish, I absolutely wished, was in Ke Epic Mickey. It's that you cannot play as anybody else but Mickey. I mean, really. Why can't you play as Oswald? I mean, you do become friends with him at the end of the game, right? I mean, you do earn his trust, right? So they should have, like, a mini-story or, like, a second story that you unlock when you beat the game. That you can play as Oswald or Mickey or even Gus. That'd be fun. But, yeah. Our ranting to the side. Well, I'm probably not done ranting about this. Because my co-commentary here is probably going to bring up more ranting for me. So, do you got anything to say, Christian 2.0? Yeah, but the storyline would have changed. The boring characters are the extras, because they are repeated characters. Well, you still have some time to bring up some ranting, but... I agree that they are kind of annoying, but... the. Worst that they can do to you is talk to you when you're you don't want to be talked to, and then you even you even choose to get talked to. But really, every character needs some more screen time, even if they've had I don't know. Well, Mickey, take Mickey for example. Everybody loves Mickey, and he is constantly on the screen. But stuff like that one guy who runs the theater, I don't know his name. No one really knows where he came from, but every character needs some more screen time because they all need respect and they're all made by Disney. And why not? This is Wasteland for crying out loud. This is Wasteland. So, this is the land of forgotten. So. An interesting yet 
Hard to explain characters are the Peets. Yeah, there are about like four Peets in there. Uh, let me see if I can name them all. Big Bad Pete, obviously. Small Pete. Uh, I think that's the first, maybe second one I meet. Pete Pan, and then Pete Tronic. They're all like old versions of the Pete that we know today. You even have Goofy, Donald, and Daisy. Only they are robots. Now, I know how this is supposed to be Wasteland, but there is one TV show that is actually forgotten, and I actually liked it. No, I am not an adult, but it just happened to come on as one of the old shows. And the main character, his name was... The show is called Darkwing Duck. Some people know of it, some people don't, but I kind of wish that they would have a Darkwing Duck animatronic person in there. Oh well, people can dream. We also have helpful creatures... They are called gremlins. Gus is the most helpful gremlin because he's your helpful guide. Okay, helpful, I guess. Annoying, see. Because sometimes they can just get on people's nerves. You must accept this. I mean, they're the most annoying. They're when you don't want them to be person ever. Okay, one big gripe I have about Epic Mickey is the difficulty level. I mean, there is no change. You cannot change it at any point in time. You would think, just starting out the game, it would be an easy game. No, halfway through, it changes from really easy to really hard. I'm like, dang, people. And sometimes, it's made for little kids. Probably, probably not. I know some kids. Well, kids will play this game, and they will probably get so frustrated, they will probably kill kill themselves. That's probably an over-exaggeration, but hey, I'd probably do it. Well, there's no argument that the game has not, goes from easy to hard once you play through it, but uh, there is one area where you can choose how hard it is, or how easy it is. The platforms, there are platforms that are disappeared. So, you can, like, uh, paint the whole thing in, or you just can leave it partially painted, which makes it easy easy for you, or hard for you to get to that single platform. Now, she doesn't mean that there's, like, a place where you can change the difficulty. She just means that, uh, you can take the wuss way, wussy way, where you can paint in the entire thing, which is what she normally does. Or it can be risky if you're like a really hardcore gamer like I am. I know how I'm complaining about how it's hard, but really, I'm looking at it from a kid's point of view. Normally, there's this one stretch, there's this one platform that's somewhat disappeared, but there's this one narrow stretch of uh, land that you can walk on, and if you want to save your paint, which is what you used to get, I'll explain that later. But you can walk on that if you want to save your paint. But normally she takes the wussy way and just paints in the entire thing, which I really don't get. Uh, really, it's not too easy to run out of paint or thinner because once you, uh, like, you lost the level of paint, that same level will try to refill itself. Not the whole c container that holds your paint or thinner in it, but it just, uh, Refills the level up, so you always have pain or center to ooh, uh, fight with. And and there's always a plant or a lamp post or some type of box that you can smash to, or just use your thin attack and your life point or pain or center or e tickets or which are called money. You can use that, you can always find those in plants or something, so you're never out of money, life points, or a center. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say about difficulty, well, the difficulty place, but I do have a gripe about how there's no medium in it, but I'm going to go with how it, um, how it keeps you interested, like there's, but how can it keep you interested? It doesn't pick. The game doesn't really pick up until far in the game. There's no dramatic twist besides 
Uh, Oswald just finding out that Mickey caused the thinner disaster and all that. But other than that, that's pretty much the only twist, and it doesn't really. It's really no s big surprise to you. It's just something that they put in there so Mickey could come with Queen to his bro. So then, there's really nothing that can get you sucked in. You can get sucked in because of the big plot battle, but uh, really, other than that, you can't get sucked in back into this game. Well, there is a climax and to the game, and then there's always those slow points where you're completing quests. It, once you hit Main Street, I mean, not Main Street, but it's called Main Street in the game. And, anyways, the game has uh, has these good, or these, like, moral choices when facing important characters that would define the surprise ending. Uh, there is a predictable ending, but there's also that surprise ending after you defeat the block. Okay, there's one where you're completely bad, Nick. You break everything, with, and no one really likes you. Then there's the one in between where you're just regular old Nicky doing what you think is right. Is right. And then there's goody two-shoes, Mickey, where you want everybody to like you. Really? I really don't see the point in any of them, because you beat the game. Woohoo! I'm finally done with this long, 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 long game. Uh, some of the ending is pretty funny, because uh, you gotta see down that both sides, and he's very funny. But anyways, there's a point in the game that can, there, that can give you bragging rights. Uh, if you play the game and you earn most of the film rounds, you get like two cartoons, but that's all you get. But there's another thing called the pin collection. Uh, you have to play the game three times to earn all of them. But uh, if it takes you more than three times, that's okay, because I played it five times already and I still haven't earned all the pins yet. Well, 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 welcome to 9 out of 10. It's a great game. The only real gripe. I know that I had a lot of gripes with the game, but you know, when I sat down and thought about it, the only real gripe that had anything to do with the game was probably how dark it got in that one room. Well, not in that one room, in a couple of rooms. A couple of places, actually. So, out of all, 9 out of 10. Great.